What's going on? What's going on? I know it's been a minute since I reported live from the compound. You feel me? But um, I'm about to get ready to pull up on that boy CEO. CEO shed built. You know what I'm talking about? And he putting a bill together right now. I don't know if this one's supercharged. It might be. Don't knock my head off if I'm wrong. But um, I'm about to get ready to pull up on that boy. Uh, he gonna let me know what's going on probably with his car. The bill that he working on now and the bill that he got coming in the future later on this year. So man, y'all keep that thing locked in and I'm gonna holler at y'all when I get out there. Yeah, yeah man, as y'all can see, I just pulled up on that boy CEO. And man, this one of my favorite shit right here. That seven and model cool or whatever, but I love that system model brake joint. Oh, this ain't Paul. Love this joint right here. Shit, man, see, I'll tell these folks you got going on right here, dog. Man, trying to get this 66 working into that full LS swap. Uh, we got the interior done, trying to get the brakes check on. Trying to get the brake. Uh, Ooh, she pretty too. How long you been on? How long you been working on this joint now? Uh, this one actually has been done since the beginning of the year. Oh, damn, okay, okay. What's the finish touch of this then? He sent it, sent it off with the interior done. Oh, so the done, the top, the okay, the, the, the interior the, already finished. Oh, yeah, interior let me check that joint out, boy. I know he got vintage in the joint. He got vintage, digital. He got all the bells and wolf. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He too clean. He too clean. Now, who, uh, who did the interior on this joint? Uh, oh, that who be doing all y'all joints, right? right. Him or AD. Check that boy out one day if I ever decide to blow my guts out. You say you gotta get the top done? The top's done. Oh, the top already done. So he got, do he got the seals of junk like on the arm? Um, the boy be saying they got on the verts and shit? Oh, it's, it's done. Everything's done on it. Oh, everything done. Oh, he look good too. Man, I know he gonna ride the hell out of this one. Um, so what all you say you got left on it now? Uh, only left is the uh, hook cylinders up. Oh, for the top. Uh, bleach brakes and get with Trevor. Make sure it does matter. Let's tune it. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see this one on the road. You think he gonna make frostbite with her? Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You think he gonna drive it though? Uh, I don't know. It depends on the weather. Okay. Damn. This bitch so clean right here. I love it. I love this body style right here on that vert. The vert style. I mean the vert body style on them Paul. Love them joint. Yeah, he too tall. And what um what he what he, um what's I hit motor? It's a stroke or like a six o? Uh, six o. Uh, nice cam. Stock springs. He just all he wants is the sound and just the durability of riding on that Okay, so when you come to um, doing the customer call, do they, do you recommend a bit like as far as a size motor, or they tell you like how they want to, what they want to do, screed, race, and you go off of that right there? Yeah, you go off how they, how they want to drive their car, right? So I mean, it's a waste of money to build a stroke motor and the customer not going to even use it. So, yeah. Um, how, however they want to drive your cruiser, cruiser, you do a, a nice 6 um still can make it look good. As you can see, it still yeah. sounds good. Um, 
it's all on the cam. That's what most people want, just to sound good. It's a sound for sure. I love power. Into the, the power, especially the older guys, not into the power. They just want to ride and have the the uh, mile per hour and the, the gas mileage. And the crazy part is, even though they ain't into the, the horsepower, they be afraid to get the horsepower anyway. It, it, it just come with it. it. Just come with it, right? You can't get a three fifty with this much horsepower. Stop it. Nah. Furler come. You told me that long. Hey, what you told me long time ago? You was like, man, go on, come on over, man. You get the furler come, the horsepower, everything. And what he got the um, what's the name of this serpentine setup he got on here? CBS serpentine setup. Uh, champion radiator. That's what we put in all of those champion radiators. Um. I said uh, Brian Tooley, um, Cam in it. Okay. Uh, stock build, so stock stock piston, stock rods, just new pistons. Um, yeah. Motors fully went through. Um, machine yeah. work done by Magnum. Okay, um, Magnum Machine Shop. And what I was so, uh, somebody who out there who looking forward to maybe running that serpentine setup, how much that serpentine setup might cost? It uh, depends on what, what finish you go with. They oh, okay. Between, between like twenty four and twenty eight hundred dollars. Yo. Depending on the finish and what you do to it, like you can change your, your alternator out to the Mac Man alternator. Um, it just it just depends on what you want to do. So. Also, the, the Mac Man alternator can fit on that bracket. I mean, on that seventeen setup. You have another one now that I'm building that he has a, the Chrome Mac Man on it. So. Okay, how many um how many um amps that um Mac Man put out? That's a Mac Man right there. That's that's standard. Oh, that's standard. Okay, okay. I don't know what right. but I think it's three or four hundred or something like that. Okay. Whatever the normal is. And shit, man, what, uh, I know the people been wondering what's going on with your big stroke, dog. It's back there. Yeah. It's back there. Yeah. You got free more work. You got a little bit more work done to it, or you just letting the chill to the, um, the show? Uh, the, the motor's in, motor runs. Uh, all day I do trying to build a console, build a deck. I've been neglecting the interior, so. Trying yeah. Trying to get the interior caught up to the, the motor. Yeah, this CEO, his own project right here. Y'all done seen the print of the show, but he done did, um, he did big boy upgrades since the last time y'all done seen it. And I'll let him um, tell y'all about that. You do, you, they can do mile, mile to wide. He got all the way out there on this one. You just heard him mention that stroker motor? Yeah, he ain't playing out. You know, when it comes to those strokers, we'll never, um, we'll never speak on the curve and inches, but unless they want to, but other than that, they know a big boy stroke in the bottom end. So this, this is a little different throttle body, um, big injectors. Okay. You see, hit all the coil packs. You can't see no coil packs. Yeah. You don't see any wires. Uh, Big Demon uh, throttle body on it. Okay. Big Demon. You see that giant? Big as hell. And uh, tell these folks, man, what um, what muffler you tried this time from the last time you had them on there when you had your six over in that joint? For try the something different. Try, try this, something different. The spin tech. Spin tech. What you please with it out? You please with no spin tech? It, it might be too loud. This spin tail, y'all. It's a sign of them spin tail. These one I was gonna try it first until the flow gave me my sign I was looking for. I know you can't. Hey, you um, you put it on the highway. Well, you probably put on. No, nah, you probably towed it out here, right? Pulled it. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't put it on the highway yet. Just been trying to get everything straight before I put it on the highway. Yeah, frog bikes are gonna be ready. Oh, for sure. You driving or pulling it? Uh, family going. So you know how we do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you also can put the family in the junk too, man. Yeah, we could. Y'all used we to do it, now. We could. I mean, we you don't know yet. Depending on what they want to do. Truck to do everything. Yeah. 
Because of how much stuff we got to take over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, them motherfuckers sound good, out. The same thing, hit all the wires. Coil packs down, bottom down now, if you can see that. You said coil packs at, oh, damn. Line them up, nice and big. I'm going to get a joint. Hey, yeah, them ferns started got them crank up in the joint like on my big squawker, boy. Oh, damn, I ain't never seen them like that in the front. Will you build like a rail or some shit? Yeah, build a bracket. Them all the way oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, you gotta open that door, add that joint out. That's what that big scope gonna do for you, boy. Gonna choke your ass right out. You please, you uh, you satisfied how that joint turned out though? I think it's more than what I'm talking about. Man, that bitch sound way different than what it used to sound like, boy. Tell you that much. So basically, um, these cars are saying they're just a bird style right there. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, some, somewhere, yeah, so it's a 6, 668. Okay, um, yours is 6, 8? Mine's a 6, 8, yeah. Hello. Uh, tell the people, tell the people what, um, uh, what bills, what bills you got coming in, Doc? Uh, I got a 6, 0, uh, and a 6, and a 83, and a 10. Okay. And, uh, um, I might get footage on all of them, John. 66 Chevelle. Um, okay. We can, we can go look at that one next. That one's a... LSA. What is John? Your career? 62, yeah. Okay, yeah, we definitely gotta go do that. LS2, uh, LSA, and then after that, it's a 66 Chevelle. A 66. Well, you got about 4 5 online, though? Yeah, it's a nice little line. Like, Hell yeah, dog. You gonna be busy, dog. Yeah, yeah. Try to do one or two at a time, nothing crazy. I don't like to. Don't yeah. Like people's deposits. I don't want none of that. I just want to put out good car rewards. So. Yeah, for sure. I'm not worrying about the, the, how many cars I can do at one time. Like, yeah, Jess. Your brand out there, you want it done right. Cause people gonna once they see nice ass work, they gonna ask, man, who did it? Who did it? Once your name was stamped, once your name stamped the song, you want your name to be a one out here in these streets, especially doing work like this. Hey, tell the people you also just did a um, you also just did a super Monte Carlo. How that giant turned out? Super Monte Carlo. We'll get the video when it's done. Um, yeah. Not trying to show a lot until it's for done. sure. But uh, Monte Carlo, nice. Stroker, um, Kong, Glor on top of it. Mm. Uh, doing a full nine inch, um, upgraded trailing arms. Okay. Shorten the rear end. Okay. Um, big lip, big lips on the back. Um, full brake kit. Uh, okay. Yeah, the car. The, that's that's gonna be one to watch out for. So he he not he not going back with the same rim. He changed it up since he showed the rim. Same rims, uh, bigger bigger lips. So oh, bigger lip. Okay. And okay. Put a bigger lip on the wheels. So. Okay. Oh, that's the building right there, dog. And you said, um, you got Chevelle we can check out? Yeah, I don't All right. Well, I'm going to turn my jump real quick. Face me. Um, I just let y'all see his bill and this jump. So we fit to take a ride, and I'm going to tap back in with y'all when we pull up on this Chevelle. Yeah, as y'all can see, me and CEO, we on the slide right now. About to head to go check out another bill. That he was working on another surveyor. And like y'all heard, that boy, that boy got plenty of, plenty of bills on the way. So that means there's gonna be plenty of footage coming from Shed Bill. For anybody out there who's trying to get them LS swaps out and all. But as you can see, we're on the road right now. Coming up through the city. Heading to go look at another bill. Good. They big, they big on the military thing out here. Shipyard. As you can see, you can see all that. See all that right there. On the road, head to another bill. I don't know if y'all see that, um, that military ship. The military ship back there in the background. So we ride on our way. See that other bill. I think it's a supercharged bill. Look at the outskirt. Look at that. Look at the rear of that joint, dog. Driving and recording, so I gotta watch everything. As y'all can see, background of the city. On our way to the dead bill, dog. Catch y'all in a little bit. Alright, so we just. Me and COJ pulled up on that supercharged joint I told y'all about. 
What we looking at right here, goddamn, CEO? Uh, 6'2", Lord and Stroke. Dang. Um, you, Lord from uh, Booster District. Okay. Douglas Headers, uh, same CVF, 17 setup. Same CVF, 17 uh, setup. Champion Radiator, Chrome uh, Booster. <laughs> Only thing really left is the uh, mount the intercooler. Uh, well, heat exchanger in it. Okay, where are you going to mount that at? Uh, so I'm going to get coated, he's going to fast some stuff up. We're going to put sandwich in between the condenser, the AC condenser, and the Okay. Radiator. Um, and one of the pump and the hoses through that side over there. So the pump and the hoses gonna be right there. So shit, how many um, how many are these supercharged motor you done, done so far? Uh, it's the third one. Third one. What you done learned about them, John? Uh, each one of them's kind of well. Each build is different, as you yeah, know. for sure. Yeah, but um, not really learned a lot. Just the like where you can hide stuff and um. I would say cheaper, just more cost efficient ways to do things versus buying whole kits. Uh, it's more cost efficient to to buy the supercharger and then buy everything that support the supercharger. Okay. Um, that'll fit your build, all right. Versus just buying, hey, I got this kit that works for everything. You yeah. Can sell a kit that works for everything. So would you? So far, the blower, the supercharger, would you recommend them putting this on a like a, a non a unscroke motor or a scroke motor to get the the benefits out of it. Either, either way. Either way, way you're gonna turn it up. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's all on all on the customer at the end of the day how much power he wants to really have. Um like you gotta think they come stock on a unstroke motor anyway. For sure, for yeah, sure. So. The on uh, L S um C T S V giant. C T S V the the Z the Z R ones all them have the you're right, you're right. And that's all just a stock motor with a supercharger on supercharger, the same um, supercharger. So with a um I know the CTSV out the factory is like what five fifty five sixty. No, I think that's with the supercharger too. Uh, I don't like, know. Yeah, I don't like know. five. Or I don't know the numbers of the factory builds. Okay, so with 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 a scroker, how much horsepower they might expect out of? They just they just they just throw a number. Out. They just say you got a so four my eight. My goal we're shooting for seven hundred horsepower. Seven hundred horsepower. I think that's achievable with the build. So okay. That's the that's the goal. On the street, y'all. Tom talking about instantly, instantly power. That's the goal for this build. So I mean, it's a, it's got already got a twelve bolt, uh, three seventy threes. Okay. Um, Posi. Uh, you got Posi. Limited slip. Limited um, slip. It's a T fifty six six speed transmission. We put in this one, so he's shifting gears the whole time. Oh, I just said that's a stick shift, then. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's why we're still trying to mount up all the T fifty six stuff now. You got a reservoir, um, clutch, um, brackets and all that clutch pedals. Um, Y'all see how neat the work is, right? Yeah, same thing. Hide all the wires. Yeah, like it's wires fully wired up. Like vintage AC, right? So this is I don't know what vent what AC is. I think it's called um, not vintage. It was this is this has been in this car for a while and it works. So we didn't change it. Out. I'm not wasting okay. money that you don't have to waste. So. Oh, oh, so you got the the uh, already had AC in it. So. Oh, okay, okay. So I just made it work for his for this setup. For this setup. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they jump right here. Um. Yeah, this is another one. Another night jump, y'all. So like he said, he, he said about five or six bills he got coming up out of this total. So shit, they're gonna be playing up footage on the way with what goddamn shed built putting that. Oh yeah, I already turned the lights on. Yeah, sure you did. This one got the Oh all right, hold on. Um Dino Mad in it. Power window upgrades. So we did power windows all through the car. So it was manual now, it's, it's auto. Power uh, with the nostalgic um, handle, so it'll look like factory handle. Damn, yeah, yeah. The, this power windows now. Um, oh, yeah, that hard right there. Digital dash. Full digital dash. Yeah. Radio installed, Bluetooth. Damn. Uh, speakers added. Um, interiors, about to drop it off at the shop to get the interior done. Like I said, T56 transmission. Um, yeah. You got everything. Um, and what was I for the ass? Oh yeah. How long? Um, uh, how long y'all been? How long you been working on this bill? Uh, it's been at the house for since. What's this month? 
Like first this, week, this second January. week of January, yeah. week of January so. Nah, this is last Oh, you said it been here since the second week of January about, Yeah, January yeah, First okay. week of January, yeah Okay, yeah, okay January, yeah. About down there a month in yeah, then. Motor, motor dropped in, transmission put in um, I did this at the unit um, yeah. But, yeah Who you who you use on your um your rebuild? I know you used doing 4 or 8, but even on this Who you use on um, you? Oh, this, your, is a um, brand new t this is a brand new dramatic T56 right out of the box Straight out of the goddamn box Damn it's all nothing's nothing used on this on this on this on this on this bill right here. Yeah, he, he went all out. Like he's a he's a driver. He said he's gonna drive this back and forth, state to state. Like he got a oh, damn. Going, so. Okay. Yeah. If three seven three gonna do him right then. Yeah, so Just without them gills too. Yeah. So I, we we're thinking about seventeen hundred at at seventy eighty miles per hour with the gear. Oh, you talking about far the RPM? RPM, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So full coil over. We did. Um, oh, we got coil over on it. Full adjustable, double rebound, coil overs, fully rewired, yeah, undercoated, uh, lost this week. As I can see, see the coil over. Check this side out. Check this side out. What, new tank? New gas tank? New gas tank. New gas tank. All new fuel lines. Everything ain't new. The interior, yeah, yeah they get some. Dash. Well, oh, you said dying the dash. Yeah, just the seat, so he has a motorized seat, so they're gonna fully recover. You see it now, you see it later. Mm, they look so, good right there. Oh, oh, so, oh, that's the, this the is color that was. I like that. This is before it goes to the shop. Okay, I like that. This was up. So, one more look at it, John. Look at it, John. So, I get a full walk around. That's super tall. And as y'all can see, that thing got so much stuff going to it. So much stuff going to it. Look like one of the motor that cab be selling. The 6 2 with a super tall, fresh from the factory. Look damn good. Yeah, he gonna be able to ride. That 6 2 stroke. Pull the shade and firewall to you. Yeah, you can do the firewall all the way across, dog. Yeah, mine gonna look just like that. They like that. Oh. oh yeah, man, they're gonna conclude the jump. And uh, I'm gonna holler back at y'all when I get to the comp. What it do? Oh, hold on, hold on. Look at your jump. I don't even think of parking here. <laughs> Seven parking on the straight like that. Straight like that. Tell back in with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I just made it back from doing that A1 interview. Doing that A1 interview with CEO. And as y'all heard, that boy say himself, he got a lot of more bills coming. And as them bills come, as them bills come, I'm going to pull up on them, get more footage, more footage. Anybody in the area, anybody around the world, man, you trying to get that LS swap done. You don't trust nobody where you from, man. Tap in with my folk. Shed built. Tap in with that man. He going to get you right. You see the quality of work that he do, you know what I'm saying? You heard him say it himself. It ain't about how much he putting out, it's just about his quality of work. You know, how neat it is, how good it is. I don't know that y'all know, but him and Junior, they, um, Junior wired the call, CO wired it, or CO did a good job tucking the everything, hiding everything. I'm just how that boy work. So you want to get some goddamn good work done. You up here in the area where we at, um, Virginia, North Carolina, all around the world, man, tap in with that boy. I'm going to put that boy name on the screen for you reach out to him get in line because you know that wait list the wait list going up boy it is seeing the work that he put out so the wait list going up man y'all go ahead jump in line that book gonna get you right you feel me you got any questions to reach out to them guys man even my even on um, like i said we together we all at one broke we're racing and shed built shed built so i don't think you gotta do is just write me on instagram you know what i'm saying i get you in contact with everybody so with that being said i'm about to get up out there jump to the next time it means even tv y'all tap in with that boy Bet I ain't smoking on YouTube, shot I ain't lying. Like, comment, subscribe. Man, tell somebody so they can tell somebody about the boy, man. I wait 45, bring it down to center Clay County. Man, you already know that my neck of the woods back home, baby. And another thing before I go, Junior, Quint, Drop Top, G Body. Boy, stay tuned. Like I said, go on subscribe. I got a lot of heat coming, boy. Member dropping all kind of fire this year, so. 
Catch y'all on the next one, baby. Yeah, yeah, they know my whole